Hello, my name is Micah, and in this video, I am going to walk you through the September Cat Collage Club collage sheet collection. I'm the founder and designer of Cat Collage Club, and every month I like to make a video just talking about uh, the collection, the, the ideas and thoughts behind them, and maybe you share some ideas and inspiration on how to use all these cats in your journal. So this month is all about settling into the cozy vibes of fall uh, with, yeah, a new collection of cats in warm hues and comfy outfits. <laughs> this month I played a lot with a variety of analog media. So all of these cats on this page, for example, are paper cuts. Um, so I painted some papers with um, acrylic and gouache and then created these cute little, um, yeah, just uh, collage pieces. And then I scanned them in. This, for example, is the original of this one here. Um, I added the face digitally for this one, just playing around with what I can do with textured papers. And yeah, I, I love all the textures for sure. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just so cozy, I guess. Uh, yeah, so this one is Carolyn, I think. <laughs> I think her name is Carolyn. I don't know why. Uh, and she is um, a really good friend who can keep, you know, uh, thoughts on on a day that you had. Um, she's also a, a secret keeper, so if you want to share a secret with her, that's great. Or what you can also do, what I did in my journal, um, you can trust her with a photo that you really like and that's special and meaningful to you and then she'll she'll keep that safe for you. <laughs> and then I added some journaling on the back. I want to make a little pocket here on that page to um, stick her in, but for now she's uh, clipped in. Yeah, so that's what Carolyn can do for you. <laughs> and then these cats they're so fun um you can just add them on a page i uh, actually added one of them in smaller on um this new journal cover here but what you can also do what's which is really fun um is to just add writing in the middle because they're so long their bodies are so long um i just used acrylic uh marker in white and then wrote over it with acrylic marker in black so you can play around with that um, add some fun uh, words on this or uh, maybe days of the week would be fun but then you can also take these like phrase stickers this one is one from um ah what's his name tim holtz one of the tim holtz uh phrase stickers so that's kind of fun to make like a little uh, heading or sentiment that you can put on your journal page. So lots of ways to use this, really cute. And then down here we have some, uh, the washi strip. This came actually out of how I meet the date numbers for this month. So I'll, I'll show that to you in a little bit. Um, yeah, just really fun, uh, a box which you can write in or label. And then just to some other ephemera there. And then here we have Carolyn and Small, so she can keep smaller secrets. Um, yeah, and then I also played around with just painting with gouache, which I I don't do very often, but I was like, well, why not? I'm making all these textures for the paper cuts, so why not try and make one straight out of the tube? <laughs> um, that's a weird thing to say, straight out of the tube. Anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> I painted her with gouache. Um, so she's quite cute with her handbag. I think she's off to a fun date with friends or something like that. Then we have some um, September labels. We have this cute little journaling spot that says memories on it where you can, yeah, just write down your memories or again, you know, put a photo in there, which is really cute and just have that sort of as a frame. Um, we have this uh, journaling card here, this cute kitty looking out her window, um, which is also really fun as a tip-in, so you can um, back this with some fun patterned paper or lined paper, 
and then add some journaling on the back. And then here we have the cuties and smaller. <laughs> so you can add them walking on the bottom of your page, maybe. That's really cute. Or again, um, with the phrase sticker, that's kind of fun. Uh, these are a lot of cats that I drew just with uh, pen and ink and some watercolors. So again, lots of analog textures and analog uh, line making. It's just really fun. This one I included in both colored and black and white because I felt like the black and white drawing was so fun. And sometimes that's just handy to have for really colorful pages where you do want to add a character, but there's so much going on already. So that's always fun, I think. Or uh, if this is not your color scheme that you're going for, then you can just color that in. So that's really fun. This um, is just a little human, <laughs> human character. On her laptop, I'd drawn that in my journal and thought, well, well, I can color her digitally and then share that with you. Um, I've asked one time for some feedback and people do like when I include things that are not cats. So I try to do that once in a while. Um, so that's where she's coming from. And then this cutie here is just reading a book all into the fall vibes already with the scarf. I think that's really neat. And then this actually came from a journal spread that I made um, before I added my journaling, actually. Let's see here. There it is. Um, I've been re-listening to a book, um, which is called Quiet by Susan Cain. It's about introversion. And uh, she shared this quote by Mahatma Gandhi, uh, which says, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. And I thought that was really inspiring. So I figured you can use this as a journaling prompt and maybe journal about uh, what you think your, uh, you know, quiet strengths are or your gentle ways that you um, influence the world in a positive way. Just a thought. I mean, you can add all kinds of journaling to that if you want to. But that was sort of the thought of this. And then because I have such a weird blank space here. I created this little circle that just um, incorporates this flower again and has it says gentle and kind, uh, which I thought might be nice on a page. Um, so that was just sort of inspired by the gap. That's <laughs> what that is. Oh yeah, and then this cutie that's really into fall. Um, I don't know if we're gonna have uh, the leaves changing color here in Kentucky where I live just yet, but um, it's nice to have. And, um, yeah, I think she's just so cute. She's just so excited, you know, which I, I'm definitely with her on that. And I know our friends in Australia and New Zealand are going into spring. I do hope that with the flowers and some of the other elements, um, you can also make that work for you. Yeah, and then this page is something a little different. Uh, I was just feeling like trying something different. Um, these are drawn with a big black brush marker. Um, they're a little bit more abstract, but I think they're so fun. And um, I left them black and white just simply because, again, that's fun to have sometimes for just a little bit of extra con contrast um, in your journal pages. But feel free to color them in too. I think that's really fun. You can color them in all the way or just add splashes of color, you know, and just add some blobs of paint maybe um, or scribble in with either a marker or some colored pencil. That could be really fun and exciting on a page. So yeah, um, let me know what you think about these. I know that they're a little, a little different from the usual cuties, but yeah, I like them nonetheless. I think they're whimsical. And then we have some phrases here. I think I thought that was, this all, always comes in handy, you know, on a page. Um, and again, you can also just use them as journaling prompts, you know, if you haven't uh, talked about what you're currently watching and enjoying uh, recently, then that might be your cue there. Um, yeah, and then I need to vent, treating myself, proud of myself. That's always important. 
um, to acknowledge when you do something that you're proud of. And of course, we gotta love our fur babies. <laughs> and then I have this in black and white simply because that goes with pretty much any spread. But then I also made a version that's um, a beautiful sort of apricot orange uh, warm color that goes along with most of the most of the cat elements in this uh, in this month's collection. And then I also made a really fun rainbow version. Um, if you just need that extra bit of color and extra bit of joy for your journaling page, then you have this version as well. And then if you print, if this seems too big for you and for your journal, um, if you print two to a page, then you get them a little smaller like this. I already used one, <laughs> couldn't help myself. Yeah, these are really fun. And then I ended up making these uh, cute little square collages out of some of the scrap pieces of paper that I had left over from making all the cats. And I was like, why not turn these into this month's date numbers? So I think these are really fun. They're so colorful. I already, I already used a lot of these um, in my journal and I think they're so fun. Um, you will notice that the squares aren't neat, um, so there's like stuff sticking out. I think that's a really fun effect. Um, if you find that too difficult to cut out, then obviously you can feel free and cut them straight and disregard the, the wonkiness if that makes life easier for you. And then I've um, left these four blank just to fill up the uh, page and then if you um, need different date numbers or, or different numbers for some something else then you can again use maybe acrylic marker to to add those to them and then I was like well now I have all these cute little squares why not make a whole <laughs> pattern page out of it so this is what that is it just all smooshed them together and uh, rotated them around and again you can do so much with this. You can make little envelopes out of it for your journal or rip it apart or have as um, as washi strips, just cut it into strips. I mean, there's endless ways um, to use this. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this. And then I also wanted to mention, just in case you um, missed this, uh, end of August, I shared these as bonuses uh, for my birthday. I wanted to celebrate with all the Cat Collage Club members and I made these bonus pages that are birthday themed. So um, yeah, if you are a Cat Collage Club member, then these are in the library. Um, really cute. We have some uh, labels where you could in put in the name of the birthday person. Really cute. We have this journaling spot here where you can add some journaling. You can also use this as a tip-in. We have a cute little uh, flower frame. Um, here you can add journaling or cut this out and put a photo behind it. Um, we have the elements in a little bit smaller. Some cute little birthday hats to add to a photo. And then of course this is the way I like to spend my birthday, which I actually I actually did. I went to a cat cafe, so this is not far off, actually. Um, so yeah, this is a birthday girl with two um, party cats with their little party hats. <laughs> um, yeah, just something fun and cute. And then I tried something different uh, where it's just, it's the similar elements, but just black and white with one spot color. Um, yeah, just to try something different, and I think it's really fun. It has sort of a, a vintage vibe, I think, sort of a 50s school book kind of look, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, um, so that was the birthday bonuses from last month. And then we have all the uh, things from the September collection. Um, as always, I'm just so grateful and it makes me so happy that um, Cat Collage Club members give my cats a home in their journal and um, I'm, I just always have so much fun 
thinking of new cats um, to design for you all. And I do hope that you have a sweet September, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!